Welcome back everybody to another video. And as a Fire Stick owner, you have to know that the device has very little memory on it. Okay, it's not the fastest device in the world. And sometimes you need to clean it up. Sometimes you have to make sure that it's running pristine and 100%. So you get no buffer and you get no issues while you use your device whatsoever. Now there's a few different ways we can do this. We can do this manually. There's a few different apps out there, but today I'm gonna to show you one of the best apps in order to clean up your device and make sure it continues to run great throughout its entire use. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button right down below. It takes two seconds, helps my content out a ton. As well, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you go and follow us on Twitter at upgrade underscore guy. We're trying to get to 2000 followers by the end of August. So help that out if the link is down below in the description. I'll also keep you up to date with all of my latest giveaways, which you can enter on upgradeguy.com slash giveaway. Uh, we give away tons of prizes, gift cards, straight products, all that good stuff. Make sure you check it out. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so what is this new app that's gonna help us clean up our device? Well, it's very simple. The first thing you have to do is go to your Fire Stick, of course. So we have our Fire Stick. Now this is only available on the newer Fire Sticks that are running Fire OS 7 or higher. So as long as you have one of those updated versions, you're gonna be able to find this new application, um, but it's just the way it is. Uh, not all of it will be available. Now, if you have the newest update, the first thing we're gonna have to do is go into settings. And we actually just have to make sure we activate developer mode and ADB debugging. Now, as you know, some of you might have developer options missing. We talked about it in one of our previous videos. You're gonna have to go to the about section, click on this fire stick or whatever it says there. It might say um, fire stick light. Click on that seven times until it says you are a developer. You can set, see it says I'm already a developer. Um, so just click it seven times. All right, then we're gonna click back. You can go into developer options. I'm going to activate ADB debugging. We're going to need this for the app to gain access. We're going to back out now. Now this app is available in the app store. It's actually created from a creator. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with tech doctor UK. So he's actually gone and functioned and created his own app for the community. That's going to help you guys out. So just go to the search section and search up TD UK. I found it's the easiest way to get to the app. Um, and then you can just find the TDUE UK uh, app cleaner right here, app cache cleaner. So click on it and here's the app right here. Now the price for it is actually extremely cheap and it's just to help his developing costs. And that's a, about a dollar. It was a dollar 27 Canadian. Um, so as cheap as it gets guys, it's pretty much free. So definitely worth uh, the small purchase. And you're also helping out Tech Doctor UK um, who I'm sure many of you know already. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on it. And this will be, uh, we're going to be checking out the app today. We'll check out what the different functions are and um, really what it does. Okay, now we're just going to have to allow it on our device. We're going to press allow and we're good to go. And here it is, as easy as it gets. So you can see there's a clean cache and a clean cache and reboot option. Um, and then he also has his YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. Um, so I guess the clean cache and reboot option, I'm sure it needs a full reboot when it's done the whole process just to make sure everything is activated. Um, so that's probably the one we're going to go with. Um, let's do clean cache first and just see how it process. Since successfully press exit to close the, the application. Okay, so it looks like it just cleaned all the caches on our device. And I guess we could verify that by going to uh, the cache of an app that we've had open recently. I know I haven't cleaned my cache on these apps in quite a long time. Let's go to app. managed apps. That's where we want to go to. Let's go to an app that I've opened recently. I opened. Um, Prime Video. Oh, and you can see the cache is yeah sixteen point three six. So it's yeah it's it's gone, no cache available. Yeah, so all the caches were reset on this. You can see they're all at sixteen point three eight, um, which I'm assuming is just like a default uh, number. Yeah, so those are all good. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and also try the reset option on it. Um, now that we know that worked 100%. So let's try the clean cache and reboot option. The command was uh, exit. Okay, so it just fully rebooted now. So we're gonna see as it goes through the process, make sure it works obviously. Okay, we're just about there. And then we'll go back and we'll, we'll check again. But I, I think it's gonna be the exact same number based on uh, the fact that we just looked. 
So no progress bar or anything. It just seems like you click it and it's done. It's doing its job in the background. Um, I'm sure he'll add stuff as it goes along. Maybe he'll update and add like a progress bar or some side, um, something that just shows that it's uh, successful, that the process was done correctly. Um, but we'll just check out here. Back on some of those apps that I opened before. All right, so yeah, it's the, it's the same thing. So those are just default numbers, probably when they're reset. Um, but yeah, all the caches were clean on the device. Um, super easy to use. It really doesn't get any simpler than that for a cache cleaner app. And you also have a chance to support a great creator. Um, so make sure you go and check out his cache cleaning application. Okay, everybody, that is it for today. Now, also, if you have a second and you want to fully unlock your device, one of the best ways to do that is a VPN. So if you go down below in the description of this video, you're going to see our link. Not that, not that. Why am I zooming into my face? You're going to see our link here for ExpressVPN. It'll bring you to my exclusive discount page. This helps you unlock your device uh, by getting full access to Netflix, Prime Video, all those ones that geo-restrict your content. As well, it completely hides your digital footprint even from your internet service provider. So it keeps you fully private while you're online. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you checking it out and I'll see you in the next one.